What is going on, everybody? This is Black Capino, the Apple Guy. And today I am going to talk to you really quick about how you can turn your Surface Go, which runs on Windows Home S mode, to a full blown Windows Home uh, Surface. So, as you know, Microsoft came out with a new Surface called the Surface Go, and it came equipped with Windows. Unfortunately, it came equipped with what is known as Windows Home S mode. And basically, what the S means is, think of it as, as a safe mode. So you're only capable of downloading apps from the Windows App Store, which basically means you can only download verifiable apps in this Windows App Store. So if you're used to downloading third-party apps, you would basically be unable to due to the limitations of Windows 10 and S mode. So as I'm going to show you, you are capable, you are able to actually switch from Windows Home S mode to a full blown version of Windows. As you can obviously see from my screen, I am actually running it on Windows Home. As you, um, And just to verify, as you can see, I'm actually running Mozilla on here. I actually did a, a Geekbench work on this. So I was just kind of curious to see what the performance is and where it's stacked up with everything else. But yes, on Windows Home S mode, you, you would not be able to run Firefox or download Air Parrot 2, which is what I'm using on my Surface and Reflector 3 on my Mac to basically mirror what I'm doing on my Surface to my Mac. This would not be possible with device as it currently is when you first buy it. Uh, it's really simple to do. You basically, when you first get it, you go into your Windows Home button, then you're gonna scroll down to Settings, and then you're gonna go down to Systems, and then all the way down at the very bottom, you'll see something that says About. Click on that, and it's basically just, you know, gives you some information about the device specifications of your um, Surface, whether you've got the 399 surface with the 4 gigs and 64 uh, EMMC or the 4 gigs and 128 or the 8 gigs and 128. So basically, you're going to scroll down. As you can see, I am running a full version of Windows, as you can see right there. Um, this is a full version of Windows Home 10. I upgraded from Windows Home S mode to 10. It's a fairly easy process and it is free. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the where it says change product key or upgrade your Windows edition. You're going to select that. And then what it's going to do is it's going to hit you to the activation portion of the menu. From here, it'll say upgrade your edition of Windows. So you're going to want to say yes. So you go to the store. And then what it's going to do is it'll open up the Windows store for you and basically show you what you can and cannot do. Or not, I'm sorry. Well, of course, what's the worst? But you, uh, the differences between Windows Home S mode and Windows Home, the full home edition. And as I said before mentioned, there's not much difference between S mode and home other than the fact that you cannot download third party apps. Beyond that, it's a free upgrade, as you can see from here, as I have already updated to the Windows 10 home edition. The only version I can get now is the uh, pro version as you can see and it kind of just kind of highlights in the description what you get on the pro versus what you can get with just Windows Home. Once you hit on the upgrade to Windows Home, it's fairly quick. You doubt I doubt should so you even notice it. Um, and once you hit on it and it installs, that's pretty much it. You can just go into pretty much any web browser you want and download whatever you want. As you can see, I am capable of running Firefox on this if I wanted to and so basically I just click on open and then as you've seen before it literally just opens up my browser so it's not as fast as edge but it still works just as well um, I'm not a big fan of Chrome which is probably why I will never use Chrome but I do use Mozilla so I can sync this with Mozilla on my iMac as well as with my other Apple devices so they're all working in tandem so that is basically how you switch your Surface Go from Windows Home S to Windows Home Edition. And again, the benefits are, as you can see, you can download pretty much whatever you want from third-party vendors. 
such as Mozilla, um, Chrome, or um, pretty much anything else that you want. So, again, this is Black Apino. Thanks for watching. Just like and subscribe to my channel. And once I reach 200 subscribers, and I will be giving away a GoPro to a random subscriber. And then once I reach 500 by the end of the year, I think I will probably do a giveaway of a iPad. So again, this is Black Apino. Thanks for watching, and have a good night.